Here's what you can expect to see when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. The same VI RT PC main is running on the PC host as well as, I, in this case, I have two academic Rio devices. And so for as many different devices you have, you can use the same VI on all of them. Let's go ahead and get these running. First thing I'll do is give each one of these a unique name. This is a string that will get passed back and forth as messages between each of the instances of this VI. Each one of these devices indicates its primary IP address as well as all available IP, IP addresses. You can key in a destination IP address and then try to establish communication with some other device. For example, let's do a control C on that IP address and then a control V and then try to reach it. So the error message is telling us that uh, evidently Rio one cannot get to the PC based on that IP address. Let's try Rio two. Okay, here we see success. The PC and the Rio 2 are the only hosts on this particular USB LAN network. Let's try the network host address of the Rio 1 USB LAN. All right, they can communicate successfully. So the PC and the Rio 1 are the only hosts on that USB LAN network. Let's try pasting this into the PC. All right, the PC can reach Rio 2 by that address. Let's take a look at this address right here. Try putting that in for the destination IP address. So the specific address is known as the loopback address. And, and this address simply refers to the host itself. It's not really communicating outside of its own uh, environment. Even if it does not appear in the list, this is a standard named address. And so it even works on the PC host. Here the PC host is connected to the wireless home router. Let's try seeing if Rio one can reach that. And at the moment it cannot because the Rio one does not have the wireless enabled. So let's go ahead and turn on the wireless. Wait for a moment and we'll see an address assigned by the wireless router. So Rio one and the PC host are connected by the same wireless uh, router. Let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, so we can transmit messages from Rio one to the PC. Last thing I'd like to mention is that when you stop each instance, it initially gives the impression that it's still running, but if you look carefully at the run arrow, you can see that it is stopping. It's just that you don't get the characteristic grid pattern because the VI does not actually become editable until all the devices have stopped this VI.